Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into another Kamigawa Neon Dynasty bundle. This time for a patron. So they're getting everything in this box. So let's crack it open. And we've got the convenient pull tab on the side. Actually, they have one on each side. So very environmentally friendly. Let's get that open here. We've got the flyer like so and introduce the patron we have Zagrid thank you for being a patron okay let's see what we got in here so we've got this cardboard thing with some punch outs and other goodies so we saw that in the previous video also a promo card and lands in some paper packs and some tip cards, we won't bother with those, but we have eight packs of goodness here. And where is the lucky spin down? So this sort of looks like a paint spattered spin down. There is the Kamigawa Neon Dynasty logo. Let's roll a lucky seven. And we got 19, okay, that will have to do. Uh, let's see, put that over here. And eight packs, let's get into it. So we've had some decent pulls so far, but I think we can do even better this time around. From the list, off to a decent start, we have Hermit Druid. All right, pop him down there. I think that set is a stronghold. And let's see what we've got here. Not sure what that is. Looks very artistic though. We have Satoru Umazawa and a Jungle Hollow, Guardians of Obero. Reinforced Ronin, and I really like the uh, showcase art in these. Moonsnare Prototype, Network Terminal, Automated Artificer, Iron Hoof Boar, Dockside Chef, Oni Cult Anvil, Okiba Reckoner Raid with the awesome rats in leather jackets. How can you go wrong? Nozumi Road Captain on the other side, and Soul Transfer is the rare, along with a Foil Virus Beetle. Okay, so get my pile management sorted out, so Uncommons, and I think that was it. Oh, there's another one. Alright, perfect. On to the next packet. So have you opened any Kamigawa Neon Dynasty? What do you think about the set so far? Okay, this we have Tamio and the other bloke, the ninja. What is this uh, explosive entry? And that, oh, that is a foil Japanese land. Awesome. I think they call them the Akio E, something like that. We've got Uprise at Renegade for the uncommons here. Guardians of Obero, Moon Snare Specialist. Aki, <coughs> excuse me, Aki Ronin Goblin Samurai, Peerless Samurai, Unstoppable Ogre, Awakened Awareness, Story Weave, The Long Reach of Night, so this is Enchantment Saga, the other side we've got Animus of Night's Reach, and March of Otherworldly Light, I love that artwork, and a Foil Spell Pierce. Along with, what is this? Just an ad for MTG Arena. Alright, I need to get back into Arena at some point. I just haven't had the time lately. Okay, this... Another one. Let's guess which way around it goes. Maybe something like that or something like that. Take your pick. And it is... Echo of Death's Whale. And is this another... No, that's not a foil. I was going to say that looked like a foil for a second there. Not a foil, but still a buck or so. A Ganjo Exemplar. Lethal Exploit. Virus Beetle. Spirited Companion. Golden Tail Disciple. So Kansan Smelter. Goblin Artificer. Dragon Spark Reactor. Patchwork Onomaton, Tales of Master Sashiro, and on the other side, what do we got? Sashiro's Living Legacy, and Scrap Welder, another Goblin Artificer. Nice to see the goblins well represented. Foil Story Weave, 
and a spirit token. Okay, so we're halfway through, no mythics as of yet. So that does not look promising. This dude I know is one of the commander cards, Myogen of something. It is Towering Might. And Bloodfell Caves, Aki Ronin, Goblin Samurai, Haiko Yamazaki, The General, Thunderstill Colossus, Light the Way, Brute Suit, Disruption Protocol, Historian's Wisdom, Unforgiving One, The Shattered States Era, so another enchantment saga, we've got Nameless Conqueror on the other side, and the Dragon Kami Reborn is the rare. And on the other side, we have Dragon Kami's Egg. And a foil rare, Light Paws Emperor's Voice. And will we get a list pull? We do! Lightning Bolt! That is not too shabby at all. Okay, doing well for Zagrid. Okay, four more packs to go. Looks like it could be another list pool. Let's uh, check it out. No, we were trolled. Okay, that happens. They like to do that from time to time. Uh, this one looks awesome, but I don't know what it is. It is a bearer of memory. And we have a very nice swamp that's a non foil. Imperial Subduer, you are already dead. Clawing Torment, Nazumi Blade Blesser, Rat Samurai, that is just awesome, Ecologist Terrarium, Web Spinner Cuff, Acquisition Octopus, Mashiko's Reign of Truth, and on the other side we have Portrait of Mashiko, and a Mythic, yes, Kaima the Fractured Calm, and actually it seems to be a pretty high pull rate on this one. So not a high-end mythic. We've got Biting Palm Ninja for the rare and Foil Iron Hoof Boar. Okay, so one mythic has been pulled. Can we exceed that tally? That's pretty typical for a bundle. You either get like zero or one. If you get more than that, you're doing really well. This dude looks uh, disturbing. That is Return to Action. And it looks like a Foil Planes, even the uh, regular basics look cool in this set. We've got Heir of the Ancient Fang, Mukatai Ambusher, Rat Ninja, Regent's Authority, Intercessor's Arrest, Repel the Vile, Geothermal Kami, Enthusiastic Mechanaut, Goblin Artificer, Replication Specialist, Befriending the Moths. Make sure they don't eat your clothes. Imperial Moth on the other side. And Reckoner Bankbuster is the rare. Okay, pop that down there. Foil Showcase Moon Circuit Hacker. And a Magic Minigame. Which one is this? Uh, Cyber Simulacrum. Okay, so that's a new one in this set, I believe. Two more packs to crack. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, so this is clearly Kiki Jiki. Uh, what is that? Reflections? Reflection of Kiki Jiki, that's the one. And a forest. Silver Fur Master, also known as Master Splinter, Short Circuit, getting my piles messed up again. Lethal Exploit, Virus Beetle, Spirited Companion, Enormous Energy Blade, that thing's quite frankly ridiculous. Bronze Cudgels, Secluded Courtyard, nice pull there. Behold the Unspeakable, and on the other side... It is Vision of the Unspeakable, along with another Mythic, Spirit Sisters Call. Alright, two Mythics, Foil Vision of the Unspeakable, let's see the shiny goodness on the other side. There it is, Behold the Unspeakable, and a Treasure Token. Okay, so we have one more pack to crack. Two mythics, let's go, let's add to that tally. Uh, this 
didn't we see this earlier? I believe so. Yeah, we saw that right at the beginning. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hello. We've got a stamp on there. Okay, so that is even better. What was that again? That was Satoru Umazawa. Nice pull. A very nice mountain. Covert Technician, also known as a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Sunblade Samurai, Kami of Terrible Secrets. Twisted Embrace, Shrine Steward, Debt to the Kami, Leech Gauntlet, Equipment Leech, that's a weird one, Bronze Plate Boar, Era of Enlightenment, and on the other side, check it out, we have Hand of Enlightenment, what's our rare going to be, it is Farewell, okay, that is a nice finish, that's a decent pull, Foil, Thirst for Knowledge, and that is it. All right, so there we have it. Hope you enjoyed another Kamigawa Neon Dynasty unboxing. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.